Hey everyone, in this and the next video, we'll be looking at how to get started with the PromisePay API. PromisePay makes it easy for buyers and sellers on marketplaces to transact with each other without sensitive financial information having to touch the marketplace's servers. That makes compliance easy and integration even easier, and we'll be covering the latter topic today. So for the tutorials, we're going to be running API calls through Postman, and this is for the sake of being platform agnostic. But that said, if you'd like to see a completed integration done in Ruby and slash Rails or PHP slash Laravel, I will have links to those apps in the description below. Also, management.prelive.promisepay.com is a site that you should know and love because it will help you easily manage your resources, whether it's uh, users, fees, or um, actual transactions that are in the process. So let's jump right in. One of the most important parts of a transaction is having users and accounts that they can transact with. So that's what we're going to be looking at um, to start out with. So if you go into Postman and you have your collection and your environment all set up, um, you'll see that there are several different categories of calls that can be made and it's pretty standard CRUD operations that you'd expect to see. For example, if we wanted to get user one, it's just a regular get request and the user ID is the param that gets passed and when you send that off you get this JSON response. So to create a user, that is obviously a post, and I have this uh, example set up here. So you will post to users and submit their information like this. And when you send that off, you get this confirmation that it worked. For a transaction to work out, you have to have two users, a buyer and a seller. If you're following along on the management dashboard, you'll see that, as it turns out, the user that we just posted is here. So that's great. Um, what we need to do next is create a payment account associated with the user. So uh, note, the, note the user ID, and we'll do, we'll do a PayPal account to make it easier. Um, but card accounts can, can be made, bank accounts can be made, and it's just a matter of filling in the details for the card or the bank account or the PayPal account and making sure you set the user ID to be the correct ID. And that will allow them to be associated with each other. So user ID, email, And here's that. And if you come back over to the user's page, you'll see that we now have that account associated. We'll go ahead and set that as a payout account for her for later transactions.